Yo, what up, y'all boys, man? Welcome back to another video, bro. I got some good for y'all, because I know y'all need this, so I'm going to go ahead and get y'all the tips and stuff on how to be better at the game so y'all can start losing to these randoms and stuff and actually start winning y'all fights. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you really enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to see more, let me know what you want to see by commenting what that is. And make sure you turn on post notice so you know every time I upload. So let's go ahead and get straight into this, man. Alright, so starting out, if this is your first time playing this game and you need, obviously you need some help, this is why you're watching the video. What you want to do is make sure you know which one you want to use. And if you don't know yet, just go with one of these. You can go with Thunder, you can go with Sound, or you can go with Sun. Either one of these is good because you don't really need to move stack. And you can still do a lot of damage without move stack and it, is, it works like, real good. So once you figure out which one you want to do. Just go ahead and go with that and let's load into the game. I'm gonna go somewhere else because they all fine right there. I'm gonna go with sound. Well, I, to be honest, I recommend you go with sound because if you go with sound, it got a lot of moves that block breaks. So people will be holding block and like every single move on sound block breaks. So I do recommend that. Now, I gotta find one of the NPCs. I really have no idea where they at. But while we're on the way looking for them, I'll go ahead and give y'all some some tips on what to do to actually be good at this game so for uh, like a general understanding i'll show you how the basic controls first so first you obviously you can move w a s d and if you're on mobile you know how to move on mobile so the main thing about this game is the combat so you have one two three four regular m1s and then it's a kick for the fifth m1 so after that kick obviously the opponent goes flying back and you won't be able to continuously just spam the M1. So you have four clicks and then a kick. Now that's the combat for the just M1s without using any moves. You can do this you can do this with the swords and you can do it without the swords. It's the same thing. Now second thing you have in this game we have breathing. Let me go ahead and control the chat. So you have breathing. As you can see my bar on the left side every time I hold G to breathe it does that and if you're on mobile it shows the icon what that is what that looks like to um breathe so breathing is very useful because it allows you to do things like dash and dashing is also very useful because you'll be able to do more things as you progress in the game and get better you there's more things you can use with dashing and if somebody's chasing you you could run or if they're running you could chase them and it helps you move faster and also if you hold breath you're able to double jump because like without breath i'll show you what that looks like when this bar is empty, this is all you're going to get. But if you actually fill the bar up, or you don't even have to fill it up, you just have to have at least some of it. Like, I can show you I can show you exactly how much you need. Like, I can have this I can have this little amount. It still works. And if you see, I can I run regular. But when I fill it up, I run at a faster speed. So breathing is very useful in this game. There's a lot of mechanics that come with it. So to breathe, like I said, press G if you're on keyboard. And if you're on mobile. It shows the icon, and if you're on controller, it also will chain light. You see where my key bonds are there to switch and show you what keys to press, not keys, but buttons to press on controller. All right, so yeah, so for the settings, because as you see where it says W to sprint, usually that would be double click if you don't have this setting enabled. So I'm gonna show you how to get some good settings for um, fighting. Now, stuff like this, where it says universal, this is just really based on. Well, not all of it. Some of it is based on what you want. Like, if you want to hear the music, you can hear the music, which I don't want to hear. Disable dual invites. That's people can duel you instead of you fighting on the actual battlefield or actual one here. They'll send you to a private one-on-one. -on -one. You can do that. You can turn on auto respawn. That self-explanatory. If you die, it automatically respawns so that you're having a click space. I don't recommend doing that because, like, if you want to change, if you want to change what you're using, then you see. So, basically, yeah, that. Return the sword, make sure this is enabled. Make sure this is red. Cause if I show you, like for example, if I'm fighting and I do a move, it automatically goes back. So that's saving the that's saving the extra time to where instead of me having to use the move and then click back to one, it does it by itself. So right after I use the move, I can go back to using M1s. So make sure you have that enabled. Auto sprint. Now this is this is based on what you want to do. Me personally, I and I use auto sprint because if I'm whatever I'm using, like if I, I usually I usually will use string. So like I like use the M2 on the string 
and then instead of me walking all slow to the person i can actually speed runs before they actually get up and i can continue my combo so this is just personal preference so whatever you feel like you should do with that then you do with that but for me and people who use stuff like string or sickle or like more stuff that is you know more comp to use i recommend you turn it on dynamic field of view turn this off because with it on every time you run it zooms out now for me this messes up my momentum so whenever i'm in a when that jesus christ up loud whenever i'm in a fight i prefer to have this off because like if i'm trying to fight and then i do something like i hate when it zooms out it just mess up my momentum so i i keep that off i make sure that's off so every time i run it never zooms out and it stays the exact same now emo music again this is based on what you want uh, you can have this on and it's basically you can hear that stuff but well, i turn it off because there's some emos in this game that are really annoying so i make sure that it's off all the time now this is mobile i don't play mobile so i don't know now here now once again this is personal preference if you want to play with shadows on you can do that but it does take toll on your performance so does having textures on now if I, I turned it on i usually have textures off to she, to show how it looks turned on i had to delete the game and rejoin but i'm not gonna do that right now so if you join the game for the first time you'll see what it looks like with textures on but i turn it off for better performance and this is how i'm able to get better fps whenever i play the game so yeah if i have shadows and textures turned off this is just based on what i want to do this, I, to me, I'm not even going to lie, I don't know what this is, but I just get it alone. And clothing physics, I'm pretty sure this also affects performance as well. This game has, I'll show that right now. This game added, like, features, not features, but clothing, like, accessories and stuff into the game that you can put on. Stuff like this. If I have it on like this, it doesn't move. But if I turn this on, then, yeah. So I don't use clothing anyway, so just in case it does affect my performance, I keep it off. Alright, so now the next thing that y'all gonna wanna learn is combos. This is like I said, like I said before, fighting is simple. One, two, three, four, and then a kickback. And as you see the person goes flying back once you do that. So combos, if you want, you can look up combos for like different um bdas and breathings that you actually want to use but for now i'm gonna show you a combo for a sound that'll help get you started on fighting and it's very simple like i show it's four hits and then the kick but once you're when you're actually comboing and you're not move stacking you should never use the kick because if you use the kick you won't be able to continue on the combo unless you're like using something that move stacks so but for sound and if you're new to the if you're new to the game then move stack is not something you should worry about right now i'll teach you how to do that later in the video so basically the combo right here is simple you do one two three four and then go to the second move then you continue one two three four and then use your third move then you one two three four Just like that and if you actually do this combo right and you use like the move stacking you'll actually be this is a one shot combo so you won't actually have to worry about doing anything else but if the person is still up then of course you continue to redo it since everything else will be off the of cooldown and you'll easily get the kill so that's how you could that's the combo part of the not the combo part but the fighting part of the game and you can like i said there are plenty of different arts and bdas that are in um I said arts and BDAs, but arts and breathings that are in the game for you to um, use and you can look up the combos for those that you want to actually use. Now, if you're wondering how to actually execute people, all you have to do is drop them or just not carry them at all and stand over top of them like this and click B. Very simple to execute. And you can actually you can actually change which like execution effect you have by going over here and clicking on kill effect. This is very simple. Yeah, so now back to the combo thing, right? Oh, something I forgot to show you. Basically, fast bang, this is evasive. So, like, if you're in the middle of a combo, you can click that and you can get out of the combo by using that. So, something else that about the combat that you're going to want to learn to be able to win fights easier and win more fights is basically something called move stacking. So, basically, move stacking is when I 
you just mark a regular combo and I kick and use a move at the exact same time and it's something that also helps continue combos and is very easy and does more damage for the overall combo so it's very useful so simple as I'm show you just like this one two three four switch and use the move on your on that fourth kick as you go to kick the fifth time you want to switch to the move and spam the mouse at the same time that allows you to kick and use the move at the exact same time I'm gonna show you again one two three four five just like that just like that I'm sure one more time one two three four five and it's just as simple as that that's just, that's how you move stack now another thing that also that's it's not hard it's it's really not hard but once you like as you learn how to do it it's kind of it may seem hard but it's really not hard I promise you and it's called afro dash so basically you just want to one two three four and the same way you move stack the same way you move stack but instead of switching to the skill you want to dash instead of switching so you make and this is where also charging your breath is useful because you want to you want to make sure you have this bar up basically as you m1 you can charge and m1 at the exact same time and then on the fifth on the fourth hit you want to dash and kick at the exact same time and it's going to allow you to move that i mean i moved that by afro dash so basically you yeah, kick the person into the spot that you're going to be at so you can continue to come it's going to look something just like this one two three four just like that now you can it, to learn how to do this is very simple you do exactly what i said but once you go for the kick move back a little bit because like as you see when you m1 it actually brings you forward so if you're too close to the person you won't actually hit them so you got to make sure as you when you go on that fourth hit you move back but not too much to where they can block but just a little bit to where you can actually get the distance to kick and move at the exact same time without missing the person so make sure you do that now to combine both of the things that i just showed you basically combining the afro dash and combining the move stack is created something called afro move stacking and it's also very good it's, it's very it's oh my god what was that started it's especially good for things like sickle because sickle is one of my mains so like when i use sickle the ultimate it takes time to use so instead of me having to take time to use it and allowing them to evade it i can kick them to a spot where i'm going to be at so they cannot evade it and it doesn't matter how long it takes they won't be able to evade it i mean it does matter how long it takes but based on how long it takes for the alt to go they won't be able to evade it so i'm gonna show you exactly how to do that it's the exact same thing but once you go for the move stack or the afro you got to make sure you combine them at the exact same time so once you go to switch moves also dash at the exact same time now it may seem a little complicated but I promise you once you get, once you master at move stacking regularly and then res, master afro dash regularly just put them together and i promise you it's very simple but like i said to do it you move stack and you afro dash at the exact same time it's gonna look something like this one two three four i don't know why i just went so high up in the air but yeah it's basically like that one two three four now string i'm not string but um sound isn't really a good thing to use this with so i'm going to get sickle something that i actually use it with because like as you see the second move is really the only thing you can do this with anything else it really isn't useful to do it with so i'm gonna show you exactly how to do it or exactly how i do it all right so let me show you one two three four just gonna look just like that and for some reason myself did not go but basically as you see the person was still on the ground while i was able to use it and you see like i said you have to hold this for it to actually work and when he was still on the ground but by the time i let go it would have um hit him so he wouldn't have had a chance to evade it but yeah you can use this and think about this you can use this with the second third and fifth move and your fourth you can use it with all moves the sickle actually one two three four you can use it with every move one two three four and for some reason i missed but like i said every move just like that this is just exactly how you want to do it and basically everything else i taught y'all how to do so at this point if whatever you want to use like if I want to use sickle, I'll look it up a sickle combo. If I want to use Huntango, 
string, insect, whatever I want to use. At this point, you just look up a combo and use the things I'll taught you, like Afro dashing or move stacking or Afro move stacking in those combos that you want to use. And then basically, you you should never you should never lose. Only way you could lose is if you're just not doing it right. But practice on doing those main things like move stacking. Practice on those. Practice on those because those are very useful. Those are very useful things that you really need to know. Because if you're not doing it, people could be fighting you regularly. If, they, if you kick me back and I'm out of the combo and somebody knows how to afro stack and all that stuff and can keep you in the combo without you evading or anything, then you lost. <laughs> you really lost. So just make sure you know how to make sure you know how to do all that stuff that I taught you how to do. And if you do and you learn the actual combo that you want to use, then you should never lose. So yeah, I taught you everything. And if you enjoyed the video, this video help you out, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on post notice if you want to keep seeing videos like this because I will be posting consistent. More consistent is what I'm aiming for this year. And um, make sure you comment your favorite part of the video or comment something that helps you. And if it did help you, you can comment, hey, bro, thanks, it's helped me. And I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next video.